What if we told you that a name you've known and cheered for in the world of Formula 1 is about to vanish from the grid? Yes, we're talking about Alpha Tauri. Sounds shocking, right? What could possibly lead to the disappearance of a team like this? Now, before you start commenting, hear us out. They aren't actually retiring their engines, they're just getting a new identity. And in today's video, we're talking about just that. So, make sure you watch till the end as we reveal the reasons and controversies, the reactions everywhere, and the impacts of this rebranding. Hello, and welcome back to another video from World of Racing. Now, let's start by talking about Alpha Tauri's legacy. Did you know it's not the first time they're rebranding their name? That's right, taking a trip down memory lane in Italy 1985, a small but passionate team named Minardi makes its debut in the Formula 1 world. Despite their limited resources, they quickly become fan favourites due to their underdog spirit and tenacity. Fast forward to 2006, Red Bull steps in and gives Minardi a new lease of life, rebranding it as Scuderia Toro Rosso. The name, which translates to Red Bull Team in Italian, was a nod to their parent company as well as their Italian roots. Under this new banner, the team achieved its first victory at the 2008 Italian Grand Prix with a young Sebastian Vettel at the wheel. Then, in 2020, another transformation took place. Scuderia Toro Rosso became Alpha Tauri, named after Red Bull's fashion brand. This rebranding represented the team's evolution from Red Bull's junior team to a sister team standing on its own. So, from Minardi to Scuderia Toro Rosso to Alpha Tauri, three names, one team, countless memories. Now, just when you thought the Formula 1 grid couldn't get any more exciting, boom! Alpha Tauri drops a bombshell. They're rebranding to Visa Cash App RB Formula One team for the 2024 season. When this news hit the internet, fans from all around the world had something to say about it. And boy, were they vocal. Social media platforms like Twitter, well, now X and Reddit were buzzing with reactions. Some fans were quick to express their disappointment, calling the new name horrendous and atrocious. Others found humour in the situation, making jokes about how the commentators would struggle with the new name. Let me tell you, the media wasn't far behind. Reports flooded in, highlighting the mixed reactions from fans. Some even called it the worst team name in F1 history and an embarrassment to Red Bull and Formula One as a whole. The new name, Visa Cash App RB Formula 1 team, is quite a mouthful, isn't it? Some fans argued that it lacks the simplicity and charm of Alpha Tauri. But the team has defended their decision, stating that the new name represents their vision for the future and their commitment to pushing the envelope. Apart from all the criticism and controversy, some saw the rebranding as a bold move, a sign of the team's commitment to innovation and evolution. After all, change is never easy and it often invites criticism. Now, if you're wondering about the RB in the new name, us too. If you're a Formula 1 fan, you've probably already guessed it. Yes, it stands for Red Bull, the energy drink giant that's been fueling our favourite sport for years. Red Bull has been the parent company of Alpha Tauri. You know, they've been there from the start, guiding the team through every twist and turn, every victory and defeat. From Sebastian Vettel's historic win at the 2008 Italian Grand Prix to Pierre Gasly's triumphant victory at the 2020 Italian Grand Prix, the team has had its fair share of memorable moments. Now, with the latest rebranding, the ties between Alpha Tauri and Red Bull are stronger than ever. The RB in the new name is a proud declaration of their shared heritage and a bold vision for the future. So, as we look ahead, the question on everyone's mind is, what's next for the newly rebranded Visa Cash App RB Formula 1 team? Well, if their past is anything to go by, we're in for a thrilling ride. According to the latest update, at the helm we have Laurent Mekis, the team principal. Mekis, a former Ferrari deputy team principal and racing director, is set to take over the team in 2024. With his vast experience and strategic acumen, Mekis is like the guiding force behind the team's success. And if we talk about the drivers for the 2024 season, the team retains Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda. Ricardo, a multiple Grand Prix winner, brings a wealth of experience and a winning mentality to the team. Sonoda, on the other hand, is a young talent who has shown great potential in his previous seasons. 
Together, they make a formidable pair, ready to take on the challenges of the new season. And let's not forget the technical team, led by technical director Jody Eggington. They are the brains behind the machines, the ones who ensure that the cars are in top shape for every race. As for the team's plan for the 2024 season, one thing's for sure, they're gearing up for a transformation, a new era. With a new name, a new team principle, and a renewed focus on innovation and evolution, the team is all set to make its mark in the upcoming season. Now, apart from their own team, a question rises. Could this rebranding affect its standing with its competitors? We mean, of course, there is a psychological impact. A rebranding is a clear message to the competitors. We're not just evolving, we're revolutionizing. This could potentially shake up the dynamics on the grid, forcing other teams to reassess their strategies. There's also the debate of resources. With Red Bull backing them up, the newly rebranded team could have access to better technology, better facilities and better talent. This could give them a significant edge over their competitors. But being honest, it's not going to be so easy for them. They'll have to work hard to establish its new identity and win over the fans. Plus, they'll have to prove that they're not just riding on Red Bull's coattails, but are a force to be reckoned with in their own right. After all, Formula 1 is all about evolution, about constantly raising the bar. So, the 2024 season is just around the corner, and boy, is it shaping up to be a cracker. Every team is pulling out all the stops, fine-tuning their machines and strategizing their moves. The air is thick with anticipation, and we all just can't wait to see what unfolds. Now, before we wrap up, we have some interesting facts that you might not know about today's topic. Consider this a bonus for sticking till the end. Fact number one. Victorious Legacy. Alpha Tari might not be the most successful team in terms of championships, but they've had their moments of glory. Who can forget Pierre Gasly's remarkable victory at the 2020 Italian Grand Prix? Fact number two, driver development. Over the years, Alpha Tauri has been a stepping stone for many successful drivers. Four-time champion Sebastian Vettel, three-time champion Max Verstappen, and multiple race winner Daniel Ricciardo all built up valuable experience at the outfit before progressing to Red Bull. Fact number three, the youngest winner. And speaking of Vettel's victory, did you know that he was just 21 years and 74 days old when he won the 2008 Italian Grand Prix? This made him the youngest winner in Formula 1 history at the time. Fact number four, behind the scenes. The rebranding of Alpha Tauri was more than just a name change. It also involved a change in the team's ownership. The team is now owned by a company called Racing Bulls SPA. And that's a wrap. The end of Alpha Tauri and the dawn of Visa Cash App RB Formula 1 team. So are you excited about this rebranding? Do you think it's a game changer or just a name changer? And who's your pick for the world champion? Drop your predictions, opinions and hot takes in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, why not like it, share it with your friends and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next videos. And as always, thank you for watching and happy racing.